When I wanted to buy my first biodynamic open backed headphone, I was contemplating for hours if I should buy the DT990, the DT880 or even the Tiger. Now that I got all three, I feel like it's time for a short comparison. So let's start with build quality. As you may have guessed, since these are biodynamic headphones, the build quality is pretty great. Just maybe the sliders are kind of different from unit to unit. So I don't know, I haven't had like a second DT880 or 990, but um, there are definitely variations here. My tigers are kind of hard to move actually, like you really have to put in some force. Uh, whereas the uh, 880 and the 990 do feel kind of flimsy and kind of loose. They aren't really loose, like they won't change, um, the put sliders won't change uh, their positions when you have them on your head, but they just feel a little like it. But I guess that's a variation from unit to unit and you know, it's not a, not a problem at all. It's just something I noticed. So build quality wise, these all kind of feel the same besides the different design choices. For example, this is the Biodynamic DT990 edition, um, 33 ohm. So you have this nice little grill here. Um, this is just a DT880 250 ohm, um, which has these like, I don't know, such a different kind of grill. Um, and the Tiger, which has like the design of the 880 just in a different color and with the new Biodynamic logo, but um, besides that, they are basically the same, like the materials are the same and I don't feel, I don't really feel any difference. They all have like a non-detachable cable, which would also be like a point to consider because if the cable is broken, then you have to send them to Biodynamic to repair them or even do it yourself. But you can't just, you know, put in a new cable. When we talk about comfort with biodynamic headphones, we really have to consider the difference in the edition models and the pro models. So basically from the DT990, there are, there's a pro model um, in the different ohm uh, variants and the edition model, also in different ohm variants. The edition model, which I have here, like I said, has like a really uh, low clamping force and it's just really comfortable. And the pro model has a tighter clamping force. So I just, because I like these more, I bought the edition model. Um, with the DT880, I guess all of them are the same. Like the, the clamping force is not different. Like they are all like, they have this really light clamping force, like the 990 edition um, units. With the Tiger, I feel the clamping force is also the same, but there's also a difference between the padding. Um, the, uh, I feel like the silver padding is kind of softer as the black padding. So there are also black variants. They have so many different types of basically the same headphone with uh, like a different design, different padding. And uh, yeah, so, um, I feel like the silver padding is softer, but it's just a minor difference. Like it's, it's not really anything that I personally notice after like wearing each one of them, like for five minutes, it's just when you change them, you feel like this little bit that's, um, that the tiger is like a little bit tighter on your head, but it's really not much. It's just a, a little bit. Um, also the headband is different, but to me kind of feels the same too. Like with the Tiger, you have this headband that you can just, you know, um, yeah, you can just take it off the Tiger. Um, whereas with these, I think it's, you can take them off too, but it's more difficult. Like I don't want to fool around here so much, but with the Tiger, it's easier. Um, like I said, they kind of feel the same. So I would say on the comfort level, they are basically all on the same level. Also, they are really light. So they are not like there are no hot spots on your head. The ear cups are huge and will also fit with like bigger ears and larger heads, smaller heads. Like it's really, really great. You can extend them quite 
a lot. I cannot imagine anyone having issues with comfort here. Also, since I talked so much about the black and the silver padding, the black padding um, increases the amount of bass response. Like you can look at the several frequency response graphs and they will show like a huge difference between, for example, the DT880 with the silver padding and the DT880 um, with the black padding. Like this, there's a whole black edition. And that one actually has a lot more bass than the silver one. So you really have to consider um, what do you want there. When talking about sound, I will use the DT880 as my kind of uh, bass and then talk about all the differences between these three headphones. First, it's important to know that there are a lot of different versions out there which have different ohm. So my DT880 has like 250 ohm, which I would say you kind of need an amplifier. Like you can drive them from your PC, even if you have a kind of decent onboard chip, but it's not really that preferable. Like I would really advise to buy an amp with like 250 ohm. But from all these headphones, there are versions with like 32 ohm, which these DT990 has and the Tiger. And you can basically drive them from anything, like your phone and anything and whatever. So if you don't have an amp or just wanna use them with your phone, buy 32 ohm. But like I said, mine is 250. Listening to the 880, at first I found them to be sounding really thin. But that's because the DT880 is like really, really flat. Like there's basically no emphasis on bass, like nothing. So it's like a really, really neutral headphone. Um, in comparison, for example, with the 990 or the Tiger, it's it sounds really bass light. Still, the bass goes really deep and it's pretty tight. It does not roll off as much in the deep end like uh, the Sennheiser HD 600, which is also um, kind of preferred by a lot of people for neutral sound. Um, it just does not really have the little mid bass, high bass bump that the um, HD 600 has. Also changing from a more V-shaped headphone to the 880, I found them to sound just a little bit tinny because there's like a, just a little bump around 1K and it's barely noticeable. Just if you change from a more V-shaped headphone, then it's like a little bit like noticeable. Um, after a while, I actually preferred the 880 for rock and metal because the bass um, leaves more room for the highs and mids to be clear while still retaining some body and being impactful and tight. I found that giving the 880 a 2 or 3 dB boost increases the bass response and the overall sound profile like in a really pleasing way. Still going back and forth between these headphones and even boosting the bass of the 880 just a little bit, you will still hear big differences. The 880, like I would not rely on EQ and boosting the lows of the 880 because after like the slight boost of a few dB, it just doesn't sound right to me. It becomes like really boomy and it's just, I don't know, it's, it, it just doesn't sound good anymore. Like for me, the 880 is not made to giving like the, the 10 dB boost and then, you know, um, go ahead with that. So if you want more bass, you can um, change to the 990 or the Tiger. Like I said before, because of the more balanced sound profile and the more mid-focused um, sound of the DT880, I especially found guitars sound so much better to my ears, like and voices also being a little bit more forward and just just sounding more real to me than, for example, with the V-shaped 990 or 880. Going back to the Tigers, for example, I found them actually to be somewhat more 
thin in the mids because they are recessed, of course, and lacking like kind of clarity in instruments when it comes to rock metal. It's just, just the music I'm mostly listening to. So the, the whole sound is like really big with the bass and the treble emphasized, but the instruments feel kind of plasticky. So mids are lacking on these two, but you can get like used to this kind of fast too. And especially with the uh, Tigers, when you change from a more mid-focused headphone to the Tigers, I get I got used to them pretty fast. And then they kind of have like a really pleasant sound profile. Like they sounded awesome after I got used to the more V-shaped sound profile, especially um, electronic music with Tigers sound so good. So getting into the high frequency range, buyers are kind of infamous for their piercing highs. And all of these three headphones um, kind of sound different in the high frequency department. So let's first start with the uh, difference between the 990 and the Tiger, because there's something interesting to note here. So the Tigers are basically just like kind of remodeled DT-990. They have like a kind of a thick foam inside um, of the ear cups, which decrease the high frequency range pretty much. Like it's still really, it's still emphasized, but not as much as with the uh, DT-990, which kind of fill the uh, biodynamic sound profile that everyone hears about when talking about the Bayer Peak because the 990 are really like, you get used to it after some time, but the sibilance and the, like just the piercing of the highs is kind of extreme. I really had to fiddle with the volume to uh, s listen to music or even the, like just YouTube stuff, you know, voices and everything because the, uh, yeah, the, the 990 became unbearable sometimes. And the Tiger just don't have that. The The foam inside blocks these, but also increases the amount of bass. So the, tiger, the Tigers have even more bass than the 990, but less highs, which kind of make an interesting and really like pleasant to hear sound profile because it's not like the highs are like dull or whatever. It's still emphasized. It's just not as much as with the 990. So if you don't need ultimate clarity, then maybe I would tell you to buy the Tigers because these have like a sound profile that will will be useful to a lot of people where at the DT990 it's really kind of a question of like taste. Going to the 880, they actually have like a different sound profile regarding the highs. Uh, some people say, well, the 880 are kind of similar to the 990, so equally as sharp or piercing, but actually I don't really get this. I don't have any sibilance with the 880. And although the highs are clearly emphasized, but it's done in a pretty good way. Like to me, this sounds pretty detailed without being too sharp. Whereas the, just really clear, whereas the 990 like tries to throw the clarity at you and at the end just being piercing and annoying, the 880, just kind of feels like natural bright. So if you like a bright headphone, then maybe the 880 would be really good. You know, if you don't really care about like a lot of bass, then the 880 is perfectly fine. And as I said, I don't really hear any sibilance. Everything is pretty detailed without being harsh. Regarding sound stage, the Tiger wins hands down. Sometimes I even found it a little too wide on some songs because then the music seems kind of detached, but you get used to it like really fast. It's just if you change from a different headphone to the Tigers, it's just like, whoa, this is like really wide and 
the imaging is pretty great. Although I found the 880 and 990 to be pretty good with that too. Like these also have like a good sound stage. Like you can game with them, enjoy songs. To be honest, I don't think I can like hear a lot of difference in the imaging and placement of things between these two. I like I said, I feel like the tiger is like a step above, but um, these are really good too. And I think if you game like with uh, when it comes to shooter, like with footsteps, these are all pretty great because of the base emphasis of the tiger and TTT 990. It's also great for like more movies and single player stuff. But I have to say, to me, the tiger are just kind of an improved TT 990. So just if you really need that extra bit of clarity and if you don't care for piercing highs, like you know you're maybe a fan of it, it's just like a matter of taste, then go with the uh, DT 990. Otherwise, I would say for the most people, the Tiger will be more useful because their sound profile is just as good but less offensive. So that was my short comparison of the uh, three biodynamic headphones. And yeah, let me know in the comments if I could help you with your decision if you have one of these headphones and what you think about it. And yeah, see you next time.